Two years ago, I wanted to expand my photo lens set from Sigmas and Canons to something a little more artsy with a bit of flavor, anamorphics. So I decided to order the Atlas Orions. Seven months later, they arrived. Greatest day of my life. Even with the $40,000 price tag, I could finally shoot authentic anamorphic. This excited me like crazy um, until I opened them up and I realized I had completely underestimated how large these are. These are almost as big as my... For example, I feel like I have a fairly standard head size. If you want to compare that to your head. So then, three months after shooting with these anamorphics, uh, I was loving everything they were producing. The problem was I could only go handheld or... The only way to stabilize them was to put them on the Ronin 2, which is a bit of a piss take as well, because that's like six kilos by itself. I think I'm going to sell it. I want nothing to do with it. So three months after shooting with those, a rose did my perfectly formulated Instagram algorithm to present to me iron glasses rehoused Soviet lenses. And so this resulted in my second purchase of alternative lenses. Uh, this time, rehoused vintage lenses. I think it was around 4,000 Australian dollars, maybe just over. And it came with a really cool case. as well, which I thought was really cool because they didn't even charge me for it because I bought three and gave them lots of money. Um, but I couldn't be more stoked with these bad boys and today I'm going to tell you why. I bought these bad boys for like a specific like look, kind of like a vintage look. It felt like the only thing that was missing from my kit. Um, I've got a whole bunch of lenses, um, but none of them really delivered anything uh, uh, that looked like a vintage lens. Um, just the way they flare and also spherical because a lot of clients, if they want unique flares, they don't always want anamorphic. So this just, it delivered kind of what I needed. But what happened straight after I used them for the first time was I realized that I should probably put the anamorphics on the shelf because these I could pretty much use for everything and they look amazing and I'm just in love with how they look. And I'd, even on corporate client shoots that don't require a vintage look, I'm now using them for it because they're practical and I like the look of it. <laughs> the Atlas anamorphics are great, but they have this really obnoxious blue flare a lot of the time. Like if I was to go like that, there would be a blue flare that would just cut my neck off. Um, and these are kind of more subtle, but they still have like a really artistic look and I love it. So every shoot from then on out, I was using them. Here's some footage. The biggest problem with the Atlas Anamorphics was their size. Um, they're huge uh, and it, it really hurt my back. And these ones are super small. They're even smaller than my photo lenses. These are so light that I can chuck them on my red and then I can chuck my red and these onto my Ronin S2 and it takes it no problems at all. And I mean, none of this actually matters if they look like a dumpster fire. Fortunately, they do not. If you really want to ramp up like the artistic look on these, uh, Iron Glass offer a anamorphic modification. In my opinion, the, the animal fake look, it doesn't look... You can kind of tell, but I mean, if, if you like it, it's awesome, but I haven't heard great things and I haven't seen too much footage to support otherwise. But it's an option. If you want it, it's an option. I went with the the 28mm, the 85mm and the 56mm, but because I use these mostly on my Red Dragon X um, with the Super 35 sensor, everything's cropped in, so really a 28mm at its widest is equivalent to more like a 35 to 40 mil but the best news is they have now bought out a 20 mil but the worst news about the best news is that as of this recording there's none of those in stock but what you can do is what i did you can buy the soviet lens and then send it to them and they'll rehouse it for you just because they're currently out of stock i literally received this today i had a little play phenomenal <laughs> it's looking great and it's the width that i needed for a lot of shots that you need something wider than a 35 mil i'm yet to decide whether i'll send this off because this one's in really good condition and it's like it's really quite functional I don't know if I need to send it off unless I get a little bit OCD and want them all to match. That's probably the only reason I would. But, I mean, for now, I think I'm just going to try it out and see if it's worth it. Because I think it's like another $700 to get them rehoused. Um, so nothing's perfect. And these aren't either. A couple of things I don't like about them. The throw, as well as being really huge. <laughs> so as you pull focus, it actually zooms in and out. Um, and if you have something running on your aperture ring here, that could slide right off because it throws about a couple of centimeters. As well as that, for some really weird reason, I don't know if it's just like a one-off manufacturing problem, but my 28 mil, the other lenses are fine, but my 28 mil doesn't fit on my Z cam. I've tried everything. Like it just, it won't go in there without like 
a lot of force and I'm gonna have to break something to actually get it to wedge in. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know if that's happened to anyone else, but for me, that sucks because the 28 mil now can't be used on my Z-cam, which is lame as, but it fits everything else. So I'm like, what the hell? Why? <laughs> I don't know if it's the paint they're using or if they just shouldn't have painted this bit, but as it's been like on and off my lens, the paint started like chipping off and I found it on my sensor. So I've got to like blow my sensor, which I think is really bad. I don't, <laughs> I don't like that much shit in my sensor. Um, I don't think there should be any shit in anyone's sensor. So I don't know if they should just like make that metal so it doesn't happen, but you can see it like wearing off. Also for some other weird reason, it's probably my camera's fault, but my 5D, I can't get these to work with my 5D. It goes on fine, but then the camera just starts to display like errors, like it's not registering that the lens is a lens or something and just won't take a photo with it. So that's really frustrating because I can't get like the Helios Bokka photos with it, which is sort of lame, but small problem because I don't really use that a lot. So in conclusion, these lenses are amazing, they're practical, and they look mega. Um, they're really making me consider selling my anamorphics, getting $40,000 and putting it in the stock market, probably losing it all. But that's tail for another time. <laughs> if you want some awesome lenses with super unique flares um, and they look cool, <laughs> the dumbest reason, but if, if, that's what, if that's what you want, a cool looking thing, then these are perfect and I'd totally recommend them.